Stampers. This is Kathleen with KathleenStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm here to show you this really cute card that I made using the Stampin' Up! Painted Petals stamp set. Um, you'll find this stamp set in our new Occasions catalog and I just thought this was a really fun technique and I want to show you how I did it. So what we're going to need is a piece of basic black cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. And I need a piece of soft sky cardstock, which is four by five and a quarter. And I ran this cardstock through the new Spring Blooms um, de textured folder, embossing folder. And I think um, I just love how it matches and goes with this stamp set. Then I used a piece of basic black that is five and a quarter by two and three quarters. And finally, the card that I'm going to be stamping on is a shimmery white cardstock, and this is two and five eighths by four and a half. I also have previously stamped on another piece of shimmery white with the sentiment that's included in the Painted Petals stamp set and I stamped this in our Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I punched it out with the um, large oval, or excuse me, with the extra large oval punch. So um, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and stamp everything. And because we're working with um, the photopolymer stamps, I'm going to go ahead and use a cushion underneath my stamps. And by doing that, I'm going to get a better um, image. But let me first, let me show you, this is the stamp set that we're going to be using. This is the Painted Petals stamp set. Isn't that amazing? I really, really like it. Okay, so let me come back in. Now for the inks that I'm using, I'm gonna be I'm gonna use the Pear Pizzazz ink. And this is what we're gonna stamp our petals in. So go ahead and ink that up. And then because I want just a part of a petal over on the side, what I did is I cleaned off my stamp and stamped it off to make sure that it was really clean. And then I'm just going to ink up a portion. Oh, let me see if I can come out a little wider so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. I'm going to just ink up a small portion of this stamp so that I can use it um, in another place on the card. I'll just put that right there. And then um, I want to do another little leaf down at the bottom. And so I'll just put this right down here. Okay. Then the next step is to go ahead and put in the small blue petals that I have on the stamp or on the card. And so for that, I'm going to be using the Soft Sky ink. And again, I'm only going to be inking up just a small portion of the stamp. I only want this little part of the petal, which is located right there. So what's really nice is with the photopolymer is that you can see exactly where you're inking the stamp. And so you can see where it's going, you can see what you're inking, and you don't make a mistake and get a little bit too much on your stamp. So I'm just going to be stamping a few of the little blue flowers just here and there. They're just going to act as just a little contrast for the flowers. And so um, there's just a few of them around. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with that one. Now the next part of this, this is what we're going to do so that um, the ink starts to run. And in order to do that, I need a container with some water in it. And then I'm going to need the Strawberry Slush Stamp Pad. And I'll need a paper towel handy. And I'm going to have my Aqua Painter handy too, in case I need to move around the ink a little bit. So all you do is take your stamp 
and ink it up and you want it kind of juicy so that it's going to um, spread when you go ahead and apply the water to it. So we're just going to ink up this stamp. We'll just put a few stamps around just like that. Now the next step is to spray your card with water. And you will see that the ink starts to run. Now every time you do this, it's going to look a little bit different and sometimes you'll get a lot more water. Um, it kind of depends on your spray bottle. I've been having some problems with mine today. Sometimes it sprays and sometimes it smears. And then what you can do is you can go in and pick up a little bit of the extra moisture that's on the card so that it's not quite so wet. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to dry this with our embossing tool. So we'll just take this and dry it. Okay, now that this is dried, we're going to go on and we're going to stamp the rest of our stamps. And you can see how every time that you do it, it comes out just a little bit different. But I really like that variation that we're able to get with the water and the ink. So I wanted to add a little bit of extra interest so the, for the card, and so I'm going to use the little speckle stamp from the Gorgeous Grunge stamp pad, or stamp set, and all I'm going to do is ink up this small portion right here. I just want a really light um, speckle on the card, and so I'm just going to do some just some light touches here and there on the card just trying to add a little bit of extra interest. One thing that's really important when you're doing this and you just want really light, light touch, the more firm that you press the stamp down on the cardstock, the bigger the little dots are. And I'm just looking for this just small little spatter of paint. So we'll go ahead and clean that off and then we'll pick it up in our green. Again, this is our Pear Pizzazz ink. And then what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to just repeat the same process, just by picking up the, or putting a little bit of ink on the small, or on the little pointed end of the stamp, and then just tap, gently tapping onto the cardstock here and there so that I just have a little glimpse of the, of the spatters across the card. Okay, so now what we'll do is this card will get mounted. So let me go ahead and we can put the card together. So we'll take our cardstock and fold it in half. And I always like to use my bone folder to make sure that I get a nice crease. And then we'll um, pick up our soft sky that we've run through the embossing folder. And today I'm going to be using the Fast Fuse ink or adhesive. I really like this adhesive. And, you know, there is kind of a little learning curve for it. But I have learned that if you just... Um, tap off, which I didn't do on that time, so of course I have a string, but I have learned that if you don't push very hard, if you just do a really light touch and you run the ink across the paper with a little check mark at the end, it works great. So we'll go ahead and mount this on our card. Then we'll take our white card and we'll mount it on the black and looks like I need to trim a small amount off the side of this card. So I'll grab my trimmer and just take a little tiny bit off. It's just a small amount too large. Just make sure that we just do a small one out. A 
Okay, so we'll pick up our black. Now one of the things that you're going to need, you'll notice, is that the cardstock is really wrinkled because of the water that we were using earlier. So it's going to be really important that when you apply your adhesive that you do it all the way around the card. So again, we'll just use our fast fuse with that little check mark on the end. Just like that. So we'll go ahead and mount it on our black. Okay. Then this will be mounted onto our main card. Now what I did, I wanted to decorate it a little bit, and so I used the new Painted Blooms Cotton Twine, and I thought I would show you how I store my twine. I found these cute little cheese shakers at the Albertsons grocery store by our house, and they hold the twine really well, and then you can just run it right through the holes in the top of the cheese shaker, and it's easy to dispense, and I found it really organizes them really well. So what I did is I punched this out earlier with the um, extra large punch and then I took a little bit of a doily and I'm just going to trim off a little bit and then all I did was scrunch it up with um, just to make it a little more crinkled and have it just look a little bit more interesting just like that. And then we'll apply a little bit of ink to the back, or excuse me, I keep calling it ink, to the back of the card. And then we'll place the doily on here. Just like that. And then what I would do is just take the twine and kind of knot it up into a ball and then I would glue that down underneath my sentiment. So I hope you've enjoyed this card, and this is our finished product. I hope you've enjoyed this card and that you'll try this fun technique with the water and um, our dye base inks. It was very easy to do, and I just think it makes a really unusual card for you. If you have any questions about the products I've used, or you... Um, would like to order the products, you can go on out to my blog and you'll find a link right at the top of the page. You can go out to my blog at KathleenStamps.com and find all of the products and you'll see lots of cards in, a, in this video on my blog. Um, also, if you've enjoyed it, I hope you'll mark or click on the like button and feel free to subscribe and leave me a comment if you'd like. I've been enjoying all the comments everybody's leaving and yes, I do read every one of them. Thank you for stopping by.